am Dave, founder of Halloween Year Round. Today I am at Monster Mania 49 in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Uh, I'm here with uh, Jess, my lovely fiance, and Lily. And then a little bit later on, I will be joined by uh, Patrick, my friend and co host from the Dead Talk. And I'm really excited. The cast of Dexter is here, uh, the cast of Reanimator is here, and a whole lot of other people. So, let's go inside and check it out. So who are we going to try to meet first? I guess like Deb or Dokes or something. Deb or Dokes or something? <laughs> or who, who is Who or... is Detective or something? Is he related to Deputy... Are you recording me right now? No. Is he related to Deputy So-and-so from Sinister? Yes. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. You gotta tell me when you're gonna record. I'm not. Yes, you clearly are. What? I'm sitting here texting on my phone and you're like asking me questions. I'm like, hello, what are you doing? The real person? Yes, I thought you meant like there's actually him. No. So most of the people you want to see are down in the pavilion. Down here? here? Yeah, it's the pavilion. You know, Ooh, that is bright. That's Scream. Wrong serial killer, sorry. Wrong serial killer. Yeah. From, from a quick glance, it looked like Dexter. You tell me Matthew Lillard looks like Dexter? From a quick glance. Um, Lily, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, Brad. Even against that movie here? Yeah, look good. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Ready? Nice. You made it! <laughs> I'm excited. I feel better.
Um, no. No, wrong. I disagree, and here's why. Jason Voorhees is essentially just a copy of Michael Myers. No, they admitted when they made their version Friday the 13th that they were just I mean, if anyone actually tries to change his mind, just remind them that Rob Zombie did those Michael Myers movies. He's a mama's boy. He's a Norman, he's a he's a stronger zombie Norman Bates. Okay. And he's Excuse me. You know. Yeah, he's got the most kills. Okay. Sure, but that's that's only because he's got the most movies. Because he went to space and all that. Michael Myers is the shape of evil. I mean, you're going after a shape of evil. I mean, you want to get technical, canonically? Michael Myers doesn't even exist in his own universe. Yes, he does. Oh, if you can watch part three, three in the gas station scene, what are they watching on the TV, my friend? Excuse me, commercial. For the <laughs> that is set in a pocket universe, <laughs> away from the other universe. We're going to start talking about What's Marvel and DC. We, we are. No, no, we are. Because the, 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 the fact of the matter is, Jason Voorhees, yes, he's a more sympathetic character. I will say he's not okay. truly evil, but if we're defining better as like most badass horror villains, I gotta go with the shape of evil. Whether that means the literal shape of evil, like in Halloween Kills, or just like a messed up white trash serial killer shape of evil, like in Rob Zombie. Either way, it's evil. I'll give it to you. You made a good argument. It didn't change my mind. Okay. Best argument I've heard all night. That's all right. Argument. <laughs> All right, we are back for day two. A little wet because there's a monsoon outside and possibly snow later, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. So we got how many people get yesterday? We got Deb, we got Dokes, we got Masuka, we got their dad. All awesome people. Loved all Four. of them. Uh, we missed Angel because he had to go do the photo op, so we're going to try to get him this morning. And we're going to try to get Michael C. Hall, but all odds are against it. But we're going to try. I mean, I'm going to try. He's going to leave for Reanimator, but that's I'm on I'm going him. to the Reanimator panel, yes. That's on him. Yes, I am. So, uh, we'll see. Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, say hi. <laughs> it's her oh third. Oh God! Look at what you get. Yeah. We have a picture. Yeah. 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 poster. So just tell me who you are and all about Devil Eye Dumplings. Well, I'm Bill. This is Kathy. Kathy is the owner and artist and creator of Devil Eye Dumplings. These are all her creations. They're original, one-of-a-kind masterpieces. They're porcelain dolls that she recreates and brings back to life and gives them a whole new personality. So they're essentially doll zombies with the, the resurrection aspect. Yeah, originally born in like the 1980s. 1990s and they, no one wanted them. I get them, I resurrect them and turn them into little zombies. Alright. Little zombie world. Um, so my name is Ted Woods. I'm actually from the area. I'm just outside Philly and I work on my own self-publishing stuff but uh, the main thing that I do here at these conventions is I've got all my prints available for sale and all this is all my own artwork and I do uh, commissions for folks where I draw them as their favorite character. Uh, so I, just yesterday I was doing somewhat, uh, a couple where they wanted to be Hannibal Lecter and Clarice from Very Sons nice. of the Lambs. And I'm currently working on uh, one right now. This uh, lovely lady wanted to be Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. 
one list, and we are based outside of Reading, PA, and we have an all-natural skincare line. We do butters, scrubs, we do bath bombs. We have a serial killer collection. We have classic slashers. Dexter for the show. Um, all of our bath bombs will bleed, so we we'll give you a present. And all of our scrubs and butters have a topper inside that's relevant to the theme. So in that one we have a little mirror. Oh, that's it's really cool. A charm, so you can keep it and wear it later. And we also have other things that are not horror related or classic lines. <laughs> what are you eating? A bowl. <laughs> A fruits and veggies. Lily, you having a good weekend? You having fun? Hi. We sticking yeah. with red? Yeah. yeah. Gotta gotta keep with the the theme. Um, above, above his head. right above here. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Dexter. Well, I don't know. It seems like the paint pen is out. Okay. So. How you doing? Good. Hi. How are you? Hello. We love you. I'm sure you heard that all day. It's <laughs> all right. It's a nice thing to hear. Mm -hmm. It is. I, I apologize if you've heard Hello Dexter Morgan a million times today as well. You know what? I think it's the first time. Really? really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well. Yeah. Hello, Hello Dexter, Dexter Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> you know the first time we shot that? Tom Lithgow accidentally said, Hello Kyle Butler. And he was like, Oh my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. We just did it. We did it. We finally did it. Like Thanos collecting the Infinity Stones, we got every single Dexter signature. Uh, they didn't let us have video or photos in the room with uh, Michael C. Hall. We did try to get some audio. Uh, if it came out well, we will play it. If you don't hear it in the video, it means it did not turn out well. So, that was awesome. Now we can actually relax and enjoy the rest of the convention and not wait in lines. Yes. Yes. Who, who are you and what do you do? So I'm a Clay Astroman. I have a book series called Spooky Basement. Uh, it's a horror comedy series. It's kind of like Goosebumps with uh, cursing and cartoonish violence. And awesome. A video game based off the book series. Wow. My name's Ashley. Uh, I'm CEO of the Art of Arco. Arco is my husband. Um, what we try and do here is a little bit different. It's creepy. It's cute. They're chubby. They're chibis. No, but we rehearsed like every day, five days a week for a few weeks anyway. And we were really prepared when we went in for our scenes. Yeah, most of the time when you go on a movie set, it's not like figured out. So You might run the scenes just yeah, for the dialogue. The, yeah. Maybe the actors are running lines, but you're not figuring out your blocking and where people move. And so that's what those three, two, three weeks yeah. were about was um, you move there and you're going to cross over there so when once even though we only we didn't have much time 18 days we shut that movie yeah. 18 days wow. 18 days but guess what we had three weeks yeah. which would be uh eight, 18 ish days yeah. to to be ready so oh, very kind yes would always make a joke out of anything and whatever was funny he found it and he would always talk about that um some directors you work with kind of just see what happens and then they go with whatever you're doing. Some directors are very camera oriented and so they deal more with the DP. And then you have some directors who feel like they could play every part in the movie. And that was Stuart. I, I loved him like a brother and I miss him a lot. But he could really be uh, aggravating. 
uh, he, um, he, you know, before he came to film, he was, uh, you know, he had this aspect, he loved to shock an audience. <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know, everybody asked me that, and I really didn't think much of it. I just thought it was part of the movie, and I thought the script was cool, and, you know, it was a really nice part for me, and... Um, and I here just, you are. And here, here you I are. am. I mean, I do know that the first girl who had the part, because there was a girl who was cast in the role before me, her mother read the script and said, oh, you're not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are here for day three, as promised. I've got Patrick with me today. How's it going, everyone? And uh, we are waiting in line to get in that room over there, where uh, hopefully we're going to meet Jeffrey Combs and Barbara Crampton. Yep, from and, uh, Reanimator. Uh, they're going to sign Patrick's Blu-ray of it. With this dry. Yes, sir. All right. And um, we're also going to. Here, I'll, I'll get a picture. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Do you want me to sit? No. Okay. All right. Say Dr. West. Dr. West. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think he got his M. I don't think he got it after that incident. Yeah, he was uh, held back from it. All right. But yeah, but I'm, I'm glad to see you. you've been doing a lot lately. I have been. Uh, it's, well, it's been very exciting to see. Thank you, because, you know, I'm trying to produce my own stuff now. But it'll be something else Lovecraft. Cool. Did I mention that yesterday? I don't know. A little bit, yeah. You said you were working on something you're shooting in, I think you said May. May, yeah. But it, and it will be a Lovecraft thing, but it will be cool. Very cool. It won't be a Herbert West thing. Oh, okay. That's what there's. There's so much other stuff to pull from his yeah. bibliography. Oh, yeah. I, I think everyone goes to everyone goes to Herbert West. Everyone goes to Cthulhu, but there's a lot of other stuff. Yeah, we're gonna bring you something new. All right. Oh, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right, here. Do you want? I can take the picture. Oh, yeah. or, okay. I can take it. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Hey, good morning. Right. Ready? Ready. All right, say from beyond. Uh, from beyond. beyond. Hello, and welcome to Monster Mania Convention. This is Sean from the VHS Preservation Society, VHSPS. Uh, what you're looking at here is a recreation of a video store from the heyday of video rental home movies from the 1980s, 1990s. Uh, and uh, we preserve long lost classics, forgotten gems uh, that are currently stuck on dead media. You can't really find them, you can't really watch them. Maybe you saw them once a long time ago, you remember a scene, you think you might have dreamt it, maybe you're piecing two movies together, you don't know. But you come to the convention like Monster Mania and you browse our shelves just like you used to do or maybe dreamed you could have done and then you find the movie. You get reconnected with it and you can finally watch it again or maybe discover it for the very first time. Find five movies that you never heard of before. But uh, that's what we do. We're a mom and pop up video store. We travel around the country uh, recreating the home video rental experience for you. Hey, my name's Andrew Shepard. Uh, I have I run the business Chroma Coma. Uh, I work mostly in oil pastel. Um, it's not a medium you see a lot, but it's something that I used in high school and just sort of fell back in love with art after college. And uh, I picked up a, a black pad of drawing paper I'd never worked on black before, and it just sort of kickstarted everything for me. And that's why you can see all this stuff here. It's where it all. And that was back around 2014, and. Um, I really have sort of been motivated to stay with it because I really want people to actually use this medium. Hey guys, I'm Brian J. Cano. I'm a paranormal investigator, researcher, and now recent author. You might have seen me on Discovery Plus's Paranormal Caught on Camera or back in the day, Sci-Fi's Haunted Collector with John Zaffis. And we're hanging out here at Monster Mania 49. Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And I don't know why you're not here. I don't know why you're watching this on YouTube, but if you couldn't, this guy's going to bring it to you. Are you going to put him in a sideshow? Yes. Yes, I am. He's just a nobody. Just a nobody. Just a dead head. Greetings from Trumbleville. We are here at Monster Mania Con in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Um, I'm at the Troma booth here, Mr. Lloyd Kaufman in person, doing some signings, the beautiful line here. Um, 
just a quick heads up, if anybody, any of you out there, filmmakers, artists, music video makers, what have you, submit to Trauma Dance. Submissions are open now, free submissions, bring them on in. It'll be me watching them, and I'd love to see them. So the, I, the weirder the better. The weirder the better. Anything you could possibly think of, if you're like, oh, it's too weird, I don't want to put it in a festival. Trauma Dance is the one for you. Well, it's been a very awesome day we've had. We are giving our legs a much needed break. And uh, I think we're probably gonna head out here soon just cause uh, people are going home and it's starting to die down. But it's been one hell of a weekend. And uh, before uh, before I show you guys, uh, you know, everything that we got at home with uh, Jess and Lily, I know Patrick wanted a chance to show off all the cool stuff that he got. So Patrick, it's all yours. Hey everyone, it's your pal Patrick here. So yeah, I have to say, uh, first time here at uh, this horror convention. Loved it, a lot of fun, a lot of awesome energy. And I'm gonna show off some of the stuff I got. So um, first up, I got some awesome signatures from the legendary Jeffrey Combs. And, is it, and uh, Barbara, K is it Crampton? From uh, Reanimator, as you can see here. Really love this one, really cool stuff. Also, I uh, found a really cool uh, DVD salesman uh, who, is it, who uh, had some awesome uh, underground horror, a horror films out there. So um, I picked up this one, Fire in the Sky, based on yeah. uh, based on a true story. Creepiest a, alien movie ever made. It was a high recommendation from my friend Dave, as well as as well as, as, well as a salesman. I'm like. I got. I gotta check this one out. Like, maybe, it's really not scary. Maybe we'll do a dead talk episode about it. Ooh, that would be cool. Maybe. So we got that. Also, um, a very uh, underground uh, mix of horror comedy that I actually have uh, been looking up on the internet. Evil Tunes. Very obscure one, and one that um, I think would also be a cool uh, dead talk idea. Yeah. Yeah, like some of the more weird obscure like horror comedies out there so that'll be something down the road let's see we also got um ah the howling just 4k needs no introduction it's a classic watch it absolutely and i think you got some shirts yes some t-shirts so first up the legendary vincent price there'll be ghosts ghouls and drinks From uh, the good people of Fright Rags, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Queen of Horror. The undisputed queen of horror. Absolutely. And an awesome horror hostess. Yes. Is it? Her film alone, like, you know, made me, is it made me laugh and gave me chills. And uh, final t-shirt from one of my favorite sci-fi films of all time, Mars Attacks. I love that movie. A Tim Burton classic, and one that I absolutely love.
And we are back from Monster Mania uh, after a very fun uh, three days. And I'm joined now by, you did not see Lucy in the rest of the video because she was with her grandparents, but she is here now eating her dinner. Lucy, say hi. Hi. Do you like the new shirt you got? Yeah. Do you want to show them? Here, look, show them. Who's on your shirt? Um, I don't know. What? What's his name? Um, I don't know. Sit down. Is it Jason? Yes. Jason what? Jason Tarski. Very good. Yes. All right, sit down and eat your dinner. Eat your uh, quesadilla and oranges. We also picked... Oh, hi, Lily. You saw Lily there. Lily had a lot of fun. She was the cutest one there. I will fight anyone who says otherwise. And... Uh, I'm, I'm to the moon. Yes, that's right. That's right. So, I'm to the moon. do you want to show them the cool stuff we got this weekend? So, we got this Nightmare Before Christmas coloring book for and, Lucy. And I'm to draw. Yeah, you're going to draw on this. After you're done eating, though, because I don't want you to get food on it. Okay. We also got this cool Back to the Future one uh, for Jess, which I think you already... Did you already start with this one? Yeah, I was coloring one of the pages. You were coloring we're to, to one of them? Michael C. Hall. Where is it? Got the colors just right. I'm toasty. Take a look. Isn't it good? Yeah. Mommy colored that. Oh, Mommy did. She also is very excited to show off. She already put it on her keys. A Dexter blood slide so that, uh, you know, anytime she goes to work or opens the door, people may think she's a serial killer. It's, uh, I might be. Who knows? It's a way to get ahead in life. Look. Uh-huh. That's right. Water. That's right. I also picked it's up this... Yeah, it is. It's, it's half red on it. It does have red on it. What's that from, Lucy? Um. In what show was Mommy just watching? Um. The blood. What? The blood. You mean Dexter? Okay. We were just watching Dexter. Um, I also picked up this really cool book from, uh... Clay Astro Man, whom you saw earlier in the video. Um, very excited to give it a read. Oh, you want to see? Okay, you want to read this book? All right. She can read this book, too. And, of course, very excited about this. Finally picked up a copy of Terrifier uh, from one of the, the Blu-ray vendors. I absolutely love this movie. You want to see this? Who's that? Um, I don't know. What is he, though? Um, I don't know. Is he a clown? Does he look funny or scary? He looks funny. He looks funny? He is funny! In a disturbing, scary sort of way. <laughs> uh, here's our really cool program. I'm to see. Alright, you want to see? Who's that? Um, I don't know. You don't know? What? I feel like that's... The... What is that? Let me see. A minute ago, you knew all that's the answers. That's Dexter. Oh, wait, Dexter. wait. All right, here, here's one I know you know, because it's one of the shirts I we got you. I to wear. Who is this? Um, Freddy Krueger. Yes, that is Freddy Krueger. Yes, that I'm, is a Taylor Swift lyric. And yes, it is oddly appropriate. I want to wear it. You want to wear it tomorrow? Yeah. Because you wore your Jason one today? Yeah. Want to freak out your teachers at preschool? Yeah. All right. <laughs> She's definitely my daughter. And, of course, the most exciting thing from the oh, whole weekend. Oh, Tootsie. Take a look. Every oh. single Dexter signature. We got Michael C. Hall. We got Jennifer Carpenter. We got David Zayas. We got James I, Ramar. We I, got C.S. Lee. And we got Eric see. King. On this really cool poster who... Uh, sweetie, a friend of yours made this, right? I, yeah, one of my friends that I went to, to school with. So we'll go ahead and put her information up on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, check out her. It's an Etsy shop, right? No, it's just a regular website. Well, check out her site. She has a lot of really cool uh, horror-themed art. All right, like, share, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Uh, if you don't, you may end up on Dexter's table. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And, of course, as always... Bye! Every day is Halloween. Bye. Thanks for watching. Every day is Halloween. That's right. Bye. She's a natural.